I want to talk to you about something that I've been contemplating for a little while. And um, I want you to assume with me for a moment that you have a world-class college athlete who played college football for a prominent institution. And that 21, 22-year-old young man is used to winning. In fact, the ones I'm thinking about, I think probably lost two games in four years of their career. They then get drafted by crappy NFL teams. And then they start to lose. And then they lose some more. And then you see their damn performance tank. What happens? Well, that's, I would say that that's person dependent. I don't think that always necessarily happens. Uh, so, you know, I don't think it's a matter of reverse engineering it and assuming that that's the outcome. Um, so it's it's all personal based. Some people, be, you know, sort of um, become that and others uh, either don't stand for it or look to be traded or, or, or whatever it is. And others maybe even step up um, because, because it's uh, an environment in which uh, they're giving given an opening, um, so I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's universal that way. But team sports provide obviously uh, many more elements and many more variables than individual sports. So I'm thinking about I'm thinking about a couple of NFL teams who have been bad for a long time, and they continue to draft because of the draft order of of football. These very talented kids from really great schools. I'm thinking about teams like the Giants and the Jets and the Redskins. And and then these these players show up. The, The teams continue to lose. And along with that, their performance doesn't. You know, they're not carrying a team to victory. So when you say it's person dependent, I get it. But does the, does the environment have that much effect on these kids because they're contractually bound to that team for a while? Um, you know, once again, I think it's this is sort of Monday, Monday morning quarterbacking, you know, it, it, it is. It's, it's sort it of, is it's sort of, it's sort of a, it's sort of a it, well, I don't know. I think it's more intriguing to actually talk to a person and figure out what's really happening as opposed to saying, well, naturally, if he goes to a losing team, he's going to lose and and sort of take that and run with it. I think it's much more intriguing to figure out what is really going on inside of a person than it is to make, you know, so-called uh, these judgments and these these universal um, sort of rules. So let me, let me reframe the question this way. If you, if you are working with somebody who is a winner in all aspects of life, right? And he or she goes to a losing environment that, that is just known, whether it's in sports or business, how do you help that person not let the environment pollute her mind? Well, it depends what they want. You know, everything, everyone does, you know, everyone is predisposed to doing and pursuing that which is their greatest desire. So you don't desire in order to act, your actions determine your desires. So it's, you know, it really, it, it's a multifactorial thing. It really depends upon what the person really wants. And I think it's, I think it's um, short-sighted simply to say, well, that person's in a losing environment and they want to win. It's deeper than that.